Okay, Charles, so we've highlighted how to dose Fido in a larger system for maximum growth. Now tell me if I have a smaller system and I'm not trying to produce acros like in a farm setting, how would I dose in my home tank? Well, Fido has many wonderful applications in the home reef, but because we're not trying to drive production like we are in a farm setting, we can go with a much more conservative dosing regime when it comes to Fido in the home aquarium. Here's a 30 gallon that we've set up in the last couple of weeks behind me. So when we look at our chart here and our generalized recommendations, you know, we're going to be slowly transitioning this from a fish only, you know, cause there's not too much filter feeding life in here and then slowly increasing the dosage. But for this size aquarium with its minimal stocking density, we only have a few zoas and some fish in here. We're just trying to keep the pod population up and, and the like. Um, we really can go a little bit more conservative. So for a daily dosing of Fido, I would still recommend feeding all the different species you can to get that complete nutritional profile. But for this, we can go a lot more conservative. So for this tank, a daily dose, anything between five to about 30 milliliters per day would be more than fine for keeping every population, the, the pods in here nice and happy and anything else you're trying to facilitate. Um, and that would just be like a little bit of a drizzle and we might even by accident go over 30 milliliters, but there we go. And daily dosing is not an absolute necessity, but I would recommend periodic versus let's say dumping like 90 milliliters here in one day and then waiting three days. It'd be much better just to add the 30 milliliters, skip a couple days and add 30 milliliters. That way you're truly getting the most out of what you're, uh, out of what you're using. And there, and even though we're not seeing it, this is not a production tank, so we're not trying to tint the water necessarily. So the phyto aren't meant to physically change the color of the water, but they are there and those cells are dispersing and sharing their nutrition with everything from a coke pod all the way up to the fish that will eventually eat that coke pod. Well, thank you for the information. Thank you.